The BTR-90 armored personnel carrier was developed in the early 1990s. First prototype was completed in 1994. It is a further development of the BTR-80 APC, with a more powerful armament, greater mobility, improved protection and increased internal volume. Development of the BTR-90 has been long, troubled and expensive. In the mid-1990s a small number of pre-production APCs was acquired by Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs. However due to limited funding the BTR-90 never reached mass production. Currently the Russian army orders BTR-82 APCs as a stopgap measure instead, until new generation Dumerang armored personnel carrier becomes available. The BTR-90 was offered for export customers, however no orders were placed to date. Hull of the BTR-90 armored personnel carrier is thicker than its predecessors. Forward windscreens were deleted and replaced with periscopes. This feature improved protection of the front act. It is claimed that a front arc of the BTR-90 provides protection against 14.5mm rounds. Additional armored panels or explosive reactive armor modules can be fitted. Special Typhon explosive reactive armor was developed for this APC. Protection against mine blasts was also improved. This armored vehicle could be also equipped with active protection systems. NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems were fitted as standard. So overall the BTR-90 was better protected than the previous Soviet-wheeled APCs. The BTR-90 has a standard internal arrangement of the BTR family. It has engine compartment located in the hull rear. Driver is seated at the front of the hull, turret controls and troop compartment are located in the middle. Vehicle has increased external dimensions, as well as internal volume. It can carry loads up to 7,000 kilograms in place of the troops. The BTR-90 APC is armed with a 30mm cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Turret is similar to that, fitted on the BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicle. Additionally, it is armed with 30mm automatic grenade launcher and a single Conkers, Western reporting name at 5 Spandrel, anti-tank guided missile launcher. The Conkers has a maximum range of 4000 m. This missile launcher is detachable and can be used to launch missiles from the ground. Later an improved BTR-90, fitted with 4 Cornetti, at 14 Sprig gun, missile launchers was observed. Both commander and gunner can fire all vehicle weapons. The main 30mm gun has an elevation range of dash 5 to plus 75. It can also engage low-flying helicopters. This armored personnel carrier provides seating for seven fully equipped troops. Occupants enter and leave the vehicle via side entry doors and roof hatches. There are a some firing ports in the vehicle hull. The BTR-90 armored personnel carrier is powered by an unspecified turbocharged diesel engine, developing 520 horsepower. There were plans to install a 630 horsepower engine. Engine is installed at the hull rear ad on the previous Soviet wheeled APCs. This was made in order to improve weight distribution and amphibious capabilities. Such engine layout had some disadvantages including awkward entry. However Soviet military insisted on amphibious qualities of the vehicle. Also there was no suitable engine that would develop around 500 horsepower and would be compact enough to fit at the front. The BTR-90 is fitted with an automatic gearbox. It has 8x8 configuration and two front pairs of wheels are steerable. Vehicle is fitted with a central tire inflation system, which improves mobility over difficult terrain. Overall the BTR-90 is highly mobile and maneuverable. It can keep on moving even when four wheels are completely destroyed. The BTR-90 is fully amphibious. A trim vane is erected and bilge pumps are switched on before entering the water. On water it is propelled by two water jets located at the rear. A wide range of variants could be developed from the baseline model. 